appearing for President Trump's visit is the presidential office of Chong Wa Dei. We are now going to connect to our Blue House correspondent, Huang Ho Jun, to get the latest from there. Ho Jun, so we're hearing uh, the Blue House is all geared up for President Trump's arrival. That's right, Mark. This is not only the first sitting U.S. president to make a state visit to South Korea in 25 years, but also the first head of state to visit the country since President Moon's inauguration in May. That plus the two countries' strong alliance and the reasons for these preparations become quite clear. Now, coming into uh, the Blue House press center this morning, I saw the national flags of South Korea and the U.S. hoisted up on the streets leading up to the presidential office. And just outside the Chunchukan press center, the area is packed with broadcast bands from various news agencies and reporters from both Korea and abroad are setting up camp here to report on this monumental event. According to a Tawade official yesterday, the Blue House staff members went through a thorough dress rehearsal to make sure they are prepared to a T for the first state visit in a quarter of a century. Yeah, it certainly looks like a hive of activity. And uh, as we heard some of the details from uh, Jango before, uh, but just uh, walk us through a little bit more about what we can expect once President Trump actually arrives at the Blue House. Well, not much has been disclosed by the Blue House for security reasons, but it's important to note that this is a state visit, meaning it involves more pomp and protocol. For instance, the official welcoming ceremony will take place here at the Blue House instead of at the airport when President Trump arrives. Now, according to the Blue House spokesperson, the official welcoming ceremony for President Trump will be held with all the formalities and conventions of a state visit and will show the highest honor and courtesy. The Blue House confirmed that a guard of honor and a military band made up of approximately 300 soldiers will greet the U.S. president. Instead of any other ordinary march, the official presidential anthem of the U.S. Hail to the Chief will be played in honor of President Trump when the two leaders enter the Blue House and Mr. President, a song dedicated to President Moon, will be played upon their exit. Now, the bilateral summit will then take place shortly after, both one-on-one -on -one and with an expanded summit. Moon will then take a short walk with his U.S. counterpart through the Blue House Garden, and uh, this will be followed by a joint press conference to announce the results of the summit. Uh, in the evening, a state banquet will take place, hosted by Korea's first couple in honor of the visiting president. The banquet will include a musical performance featuring both K-pop and Korean traditional music. So, as you can imagine, it's going to be a long day for both presidents.